Sandwich. Welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and most of you guys have heard that Ice Cream Sandwich has been leaked for the Droid Bionic. Uh, it is available via the link in the description, so you can go ahead and download that file. There are some prerequisites to flashing uh, this Ice Cream Sandwich leak. You will need to be on the 5.9.905 build, and I do have a video that I'll link to in the description on how to get to 905 so you'll have to get to 902 and then accept the over the air update or either flash the 905 file but I have like I said in the link in the description I'll have a video on how to get to 905 once you're on 905 you'll want to head to the link in the description and download the ice cream sandwich leak once you have that downloaded you'll head to your file manager and you go to internal phone storage, go to download, and you'll find the bionic.ics.zip. So you'll press and hold that, and you will select copy, and go back to SD card, and paste here. And that's going to paste that file onto your external SD card so that you can read it in stock recovery. So as soon as that file is done transferring, we will boot into recovery and flash this file and be on Ice Cream Sandwich for the Droid Bionic. So there it is transferring. Very simple process, very easy process. Several of you had asked how to install it, so that's why um, I decided to make this video. And I will also have a root guide for how to root the ICS leak. It should be noted that for now, once you flash this leak, you cannot get back to the official over-the-air update path. P3 Droid, the guy that announced this leak last night, he has said that we will be able to, in the future, get on the over-the-air update path. So we'll be able to get back on the official upgrade path, um, but they'll have to tinker around with it and make a way for us to get back. And Now, they have some methods of doing that. They've been able to do that in the past. So, like, if you guys remember the gingerbread leaks or whatever... Um, we got to Gingerbread, and we were off the official upgrade path, but several months later, they fixed that situation, and now we're back on the official upgrade path, and if you're like me, you're about to take yourself back off the upgrade path, but no worries, we will once again be on the upgrade path when P3Droid releases that method, I will show you how to get there on this channel, so be sure that you're subscribed for that. So once you have the bionic.ics.zip on your SD card, we're going to power down the phone, you can pull the battery here if you like. Or you can just power it off. When you're powered down, you're going to hold both volume keys and the power button to bring up the fast boot menu. Both volume keys and power. Okay, so you're just going to recovery. And then press up to select. <clears throat> as soon as this pops up, we are just going to install the zip that we just put on our SD card. Uh, press both volume buttons to bring up the menu, and then you're going to go to Apply Update from SD Card. Select that with the power button. Then you're looking for the Bionic ICS Zip. Go ahead and select that with the power button. This is going to take a while, so I may edit some of this out. Uh, it could take up to 15 minutes. In fact, you know what? I will go ahead and pause here, and we'll come back. Okay, so if everything went okay, this is what it should look like. It took me literally about 15 minutes for the entire update process to complete. You will see install from SD card complete. At that point, you will reboot the phone just by pressing the power button. And now you should boot into Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.4 .4 on your Motorola Droid Bionic. Now the first boot generally takes a little longer since it's booting up for the first time it has to get everything all put together and so it generally takes a little while to boot up it was stuck at the boot screen for quite a while uh, so I did pause we're now booting up it's the boot animation this may also take a little while okay so it has booted up it's upgrading so give this just a few seconds. Uh, first thing you will notice is a new lock screen. Uh, you have your slide to vibrate and then you can unlock. Looks like you can unlock several things here. Your phone, your camera, your texting, or just unlock the phone. And it's still trying to boot up here. 
It's trying to regain its bearings. Okay, so now that we're at the home screen, as soon as everything populates here, we will head over to settings. Okay, we know right off the bat that it's ice cream sandwich because we get this make yourself at home screen, just like if you booted up a phone. Right off the bat here, everything sort of looks the same. Uh, colors seem a little more vibrant. Pull up the app drawer. Uh, you get the add apps to home. That's from ice cream sandwich as well. So here's your app drawer in Ice Cream Sandwich. We'll go to Settings. And it's a different setting setup. And you've got your toggles here like an Ice Cream Sandwich. That's pretty cool. Uh, so we will go to About Phone. And as you guys can see, we're now on 4.0.4. .4, and we're running 6.7.223. So that is how you install Ice Cream Sandwich. Okay guys, so that is how you install the Ice Cream Sandwich leak for the Droid Bionic. Be sure to click the subscribe button right about there uh, for more videos like this in the future. Also, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, be sure to leave a comment if you guys have tried this. Uh, have you rooted it yet? Do you plan on doing this? Also, uh, be sure to check out DroidModerX.com for the latest in Android and tech news. Guys, thanks for watching, and also be sure to check out the root tutorial. I'll have that up shortly. Thanks guys. See you in the next one.